beautiful girls, welcome in. I am so happy to have you with me today. I am finally making my updated makeup routine. I have promised you girls this for so long, so here it is. This is the makeup that I wear in almost every single one of my YouTube videos. And I'm going to do it in sort of that chit chat, get ready with me style. So welcome in everyone, so happy to have you. The very first thing that I'm gonna show you is the most important part of my makeup. It is my skincare. So what I use, I just got out of the shower and I have no makeup on, just these three skincare ingredients, or not ingredients, but products. The first one is La Roche-Posay. This is the Ultra Soothing Repair Moisturizer. Oh, I found this from TikTok and I'm obsessed. I love it. I use four pumps in my fingers like this. And then the most important part, this is my key ingredient, I use jojoba oil with that. Jojoba oil, it's the only oil that actually matches how your skin oil is. That's why I love it. It gives me no breakout, such a beautiful glowing finish. So I take four pumps of this, I mix it in with my moisturizer, put it all over my face. It feels so plump and hydrated the whole day. And then what I use after that sets in for a few minutes is sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every single day, even if it's cloudy. The one that I love is Elta MD. Right here, this is SPF 46, and I get this from a med spa that's pretty close to my house. All right, so now that the skincare is on, I usually wait about five minutes for that sunscreen to set in, and then I will start on the makeup. Also, my girls, these clips have saved my life. I used to always use hair ties and I think it's called those jaw clips. I used to use those and my hair would always have that bump in it afterwards. Hate it when my curls would get ruined, so I love these, love these so much. I will try to put them in my Amazon storefront link so that you can find them too. All right, what I'm gonna do now is wash my hands. I have such a fear of touching my skin and not having clean hands, so I will go do that and be right back. All right, let's get started. By the way, my girls, nothing in this video is sponsored. These are all products that I genuinely love, that my friends have turned me on to, TikTok and YouTube have turned me on to. The very first product, oh my gosh, this is, I think this is my favorite thing that I'm gonna show you girls. I hope I don't say this with every product, but this is my secret to my skin. This is the Westman Atelier Skincare Drops. So if you girls are new to my channel, I am a feminine energy and inner work coach. And one of my beautiful, beautiful, sweet clients tells me, Alexis, I have a product that's gonna change your life. We always talk about makeup and skincare. And she goes, please let me gift it to you. Let me send it to you. She sent me this in my shade. I have never stopped using it since. It's not a CC cream, it's not a foundation, and it's not a tinted moisturizer. It's close to a tinted moisturizer, but it's like magic drops that just enhance your skin and bring it to life. It's like a sheer foundation, that's how I would describe it. So this is from Sephora, Westman Atelier. I'm in the shade, what shade is this? X.25, I think? I think I'm in the shade tan, I think that's what it had said when she sent it to me. She's so sweet, okay. So I take maybe this much on my fingers. What I'm gonna do, just put it all over my face like this in little drops. And I love using Nature's Beauty Blender, my fingers. So I just rub this into my skin like this. It just gives me like a tan, beautiful glow. That's the way that I can describe it. Let me try to do half my face so you girls can see. Makes my skin so nice and glowy. Okay, can you see that? And I love it because it doesn't cover up my freckles, so those still show through, unlike foundation. I can never find a good one. And I was doing a little bit of research on this product after she sent it to me, and an esthetician had said she loves this product because it is skincare. It's not makeup, it's skincare. And I thought, oh, even better. I've been really trying to make that switch to non-toxic, clean beauty brands been using a lot of Ilia and Merit Beauty lately, and I love it. All right. You girls know how I always talk about glowing from the inside out and taking care of your body, nourishing it, and I've really been finding that toxic makeup has been harming my hormones and throwing off my gut and my mood, everything. I'm going to take a little bit more, and I always put a little bit more on my cheeks right here and on my forehead. I put it in these spots because... This is where I had a lot of breakouts when I was younger, and I still have a little bit of scarring right here. Okay, 
I don't really put too much on my neck. I don't know, I just feel like it blends so perfectly to my skin tone. I don't need to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm obsessed. My skin looks and feels like silk. I wish that I could show you guys with better lighting or a better angle. This is what it looks like. Okay. Speaking of taking care of your body, look how cute this cup is. This is some of my merch for the Feminine Glow. It is my honor to love and nourish my body. And then on the other side, it says my body is my garden. I was just in such a creative mood one day and I sat down and designed these. I love it. All right. So if you want one of those mugs, I know a lot of you girls have already ordered them. Thank you so much and I'm so happy that you love them. Those are on my website at thefeminineglow.com. That's also where you can find my courses and sign up for coaching with me. Unfortunately, I do have a wait list for coaching, so I don't know when a spot will be open. Right now, it's about a three to five month wait. I really, really appreciate everyone's patience who has been on that wait list to meet. I'm so, so grateful that there's so many of you. and I, That's why I created my course, too, because I want to be able to talk and meet with all of you rather than just one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Oh! Okay, this is why I never do makeup routines because I just forget what I'm doing. What I'm using right now is Benefit Cosmetics Tinted Brow Gel. And there's a technique that I'm going to show you girls with the other eyebrows that this woman at Sephora taught me. I am obsessed with it. Okay, let me just do this one so you girls can see it. Okay, I also always have to use a Q-tip to go back and clean up. Okay. That's what the eyebrow looks like. So this is in the shade 4.5. If any of you girls have a similar hair color to me, Benefit 4.5 is probably going to be your shade. I love it. And it gives you that very natural look too. And Benefit puts something in their brow gel where it helps strengthen and grow your eyebrow. So I love that for us. So what I'm going to do, I don't know what it is about this trick that she taught me, but it makes my brows look so nice. What I'm going to do is brush my brows the opposite way. It's gonna sound crazy, but just trust me. So I'm gonna go like this. Can you see this? Yeah. Feels so weird to do at first. Okay, do you see how it's like that? We're gonna turn it into this. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm simply just brushing the brows the other way, like that. Now I need to clean it up with that Q-tip again. Okay. I always get so nervous doing my makeup on camera because it's so good when I'm just in the in the motion and I'm listening to my YouTube videos, listening to my audiobooks. I can always do it so good there. When I turn on the camera, <laughs> I don't know what happens. I that's why I rarely do winged liner on the camera. It's so different. And this is a matcha latte by the way if you girls are wondering what I'm drinking. Okay. Now this is Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Oh, I love this. It's such a magic makeup ingredient, ingredient, I mean tool. So all that this is is clear brow gel. I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to go over my brows. This holds my eyebrows in place all day. Oh my gosh, I can even, if there's rain pouring, my eyebrows are still set with this. Love, love, love this product. And it also makes my brow hairs look a lot more bold, which gives me that natural finish that I really, really love. It's so funny, on TikTok I always see those makeup tutorials. It's like what boys think the no makeup makeup look is, and it's a routine that takes 40 minutes. Boys seriously have no idea. They think that sometimes that fresh skin and a lot of pink blush and the natural lashes, that actually takes so long. So I think it's so funny when girls do that tutorial to show the reality. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is add a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. I like to do this to prime my eyelids before I put on eyeshadow. So what I'm going to be using is Ilia. Can you see this? This is True Skin Serum Concealer. This is a clean beauty brand, no toxic ingredients. What shade is this? Yucca. This is in the shade uh, Yucca. Okay, it's so creamy and hydrating, that's why I love it. Okay, just put a little bit. Then I'm going to be using this brush. This is from It Cosmetics. It's the famous brush that comes with their CC cream. 
I used to use It Cosmetics CC Cream religiously. I used to use that all the time on my skin. But then when my client had sent me the Westman Atelier skincare drops, I threw it out. <laughs> I did not need it anymore. I would have given it to my younger sister, but her and I are different skin tones all the time, so we can never even share makeup. All right. I'm so excited right now too because, actually let me show you this product then I'll tell you. So then what I'm going to be using is the Ilia, this is just the Fade Into You, what is this, translucent powder I think? Yeah, I love it because it's also clean beauty. Powder, when I think of it just sinking and, and soaking into my skin all day, it really stresses me out. So the cleaner, the better for me. So why I'm excited right now is because I am in the process of launching my second course. And this one is going to be for my business girls, for my content creators, girls who want to be coaches themselves or entrepreneurs. I am just so excited because this course has been in my heart for so long to do. God always gives me confirmation when I should do something. And I have been receiving messages like crazy from my girls saying, Alexis, I've done the Master Your Feminine Energy course. Can you please make another one? I want to be a coach. I want to be a content creator. I want to run a business. I want to be financially free also. So that's just God saying, yes, you've got to do this. I want my girls to be able to make money because it's not just about the money, it's about the opportunities, the freedom, and the access to that deeper level of your feminine energy that you can have. Building a business, being a content creator is, I believe it is the best way that you can do that. My life has changed in a year and two months because I've done this. I was literally working as a hostess in a restaurant right before this job, or not job, but right before I had opened up my own business. My life has changed massively. And I had talked about this before where Actually, let me show you this and then I'll keep talking. Okay, I'm using the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful colors. I'm going to be using, what do I want to use today? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to be using this color, Bridges, and also Whiskers. I'm going to be mixing them together, excuse me, and then putting them on my eyelids. So, I think maybe two and a half years ago, I was working at a marketing job. I have a bachelor's degree in marketing, so I thought, all right, let me use this. I was so unhappy. I just knew this is not for me. I don't like going to an office. I don't like having a boss and wasting my life doing something that I'm not passionate about. So I decided I am going to get another job working in a restaurant at night so that I can double my income. And then what I'm going to do is quit my marketing job and use my energy in the day to be creative and to pour into what I am passionate about. So I, it was such a scary leap, but I did it. I was barely making money, like $350 a week at this hostess job. It was nothing. And I was broke. I was so stressed, but I had so much energy to pour into what I wanted to do. And for years and years, I have been studying and embracing my own feminine energy. When I learned to connect to it, oh, it changed my life. And I always kept it kind of hidden because I thought feminine energy, no one, years ago, nobody talked about it the way that they do on the internet today. So I always kept it to myself. And then during the pandemic, this is when everything happened. I thought, I don't see anyone anymore. Let me just start sharing this online because I know my own life proof or my own life proof. It has changed so much for me. So I started creating TikToks about what I've learned in my own feminine energy journey and that changed my life. My account grew so, so fast. It was so amazing and I was so grateful for it. And then girls started asking if I could coach them. That's how I opened up my coaching business, eventually moved on to YouTube and started creating courses. So that's where I am at today. This all happened within like the last year and two months. So now I'm at the point where I think, you know what? I want to help other girls know, know how to do this because the life where you have the luxury of choosing how you use your time, I cannot imagine anything differently. I feel so, so, so lucky and grateful and just so happy. Like, I just feel so happy to be able to, it's a Wednesday morning and it's 11 a.m. I'm not at an office like I thought that I would be. I'm here creating something that I love and building this beautiful community with you girls, talking with you, hearing your journey. 
this is my life mission. And so I want to create this course to help you do the inner work, to find what your mission is, and to take action on it. Alright. What I'm using now is the Ilia Concealer again. And I just put a little bit like that because what I'm going to do is use a light color on my inner corner like this. Let me actually use my fingers. Alright, and you'll see why. It's because the color that I use, I really want it to pop. So, I need that concealer to kind of lighten everything out. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit more of that Ilia powder now. And it's so amazing too. So I always get so much confirmation through the, through the women that I coach. I have been getting so many girls through coaching that have been saying, Alexis, I want to be a content creator. Or I want to run a business. I, I don't know what I want to do, but I want to be financially free. I want to make money in my sleep. When women come to me during coaching and say these sorts of things, I know, all right, God, you are trying to tell me to do something about it. So that's why I'm also going to make this course. Okay, I'm going to take this brush now, it's a tiny little brush, and now I'm going to go in, what am I, what am I going to use today? Okay, you can tell that I use this one the most. I'm going to be using Sugar and Larly. So right here and right here. I always like to mix them like that. Stop it. Okay. By the way, what I was just doing, so my mom used to sell Mary Kay cosmetics when I was younger. And she taught me before you ever touch your skin with the makeup, tap the makeup into your brush. Because otherwise the makeup's just gonna set on your skin and move around. If it sets on the brush and then you apply it, it sets into your skin better. So that's that little move that I was just doing. Okay, I'm just putting this on the inner corner and the middle area. I'm also getting a massage in like three hours, <laughs> so all of the makeup is going to have to come off, but it was so on my heart today to make this video, and when God puts something on my heart, I do it. I have learned that lesson. This is what the eye makeup looks like so far. There's a few more things that I'm going to do to blend it all together. What I like to do for today is, because I'm going to be wearing something that is lighter, I'm going to also film a YouTube video after this, because my outfit is more light feminine energy, as I would say, I'm not going to be wearing a heavy liner, because I want my eyes to be more open and bright. So what I'm going to do is take this black powder, and I'm going to be putting it on this tiny brush, and just going uh, very, very light over my eyelid. And I actually don't even go all the way to the inner corner, if you can see. A makeup artist, so when I was younger, when I was 16, I started doing modeling. And I would always try to get so much makeup advice from the makeup artists I would work with. They all told me the same thing. They said, Alexis, because of your eye shape, because your eyes are bigger, never put, corn or never put liner on the inner corner because it's going to close your eye. Keep it on the outside, middle and outside only. So if you have eyes that are similar looking to mine, that's a tip for you. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is make a tiny, tiny little wing. Okay. All right. Like that if you can see it. I also, so what I like to do is take that uh, concealer again and clean up my eyeshadow where it's a little bit too bold on the side. Oh, you know what I love that you girls have been doing so much lately is from my other vlogs that I make, all the recipes that I show you, I love that you are also making those meals. I'm so proud of you, every single one of you that's taking care of your health, leveling up your life. The way that you invest in yourself makes me so, so, so proud to come on here and make these videos because I see you changing your life and oh, I'm just so proud. This is why I need to do an in-person retreat because I just want to actually hug you girls. Okay, so maybe you could see a little bit better how I did that. Then I'm going to be bringing it up for a line. Okay. Powder liner is very, very tough. I'm so used to doing liquid eyeliner. Q-tip is my best friend here. 
Okay. Oh, I'm so excited, my girls, because tomorrow I'm having a sleepover with two of my best friends in the whole world. I have not had a sleepover in so long. I used to have them all the time when I was a teenager, and we were talking, and we thought, let's embrace our inner child. Let's have a girls' night sleepover. So I'm so excited. The eyes are not finished yet because I don't have mascara on. That's going to bring everything together. But before I do that, we're going to go ahead and take care of concealer, blush, bronzer, all of that fun stuff. So, very first step, Ilia concealer. I don't like to do too much concealer and I also don't like to put it right under my eyes because it creases. So I will put lines like this. Like that. Okay. I'm also going to put some on my nose like this. And on my chin. I do not like putting concealer on my forehead. I don't know why. Just the Westman Atelier skincare drops give such that beautiful glow and I don't like to mess that up. Okay. Now I'm going to be taking that It Cosmetics brush again and just blending out the concealer. I love this brush. It's such a beautiful finish. Sometimes I do take a little bit of that concealer up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, this is my favorite part of the routine. It is doing my blush. I found the best, best, best blush in the world with the help of my girls at Sephora. Every time I walk into Sephora, the one by my house, the girls are just the best, the girls and the guys that work there. They're so friendly, so helpful, and I always find the one with the best makeup and I ask them, what are you wearing? I want to learn how to do that. So there was a bunch of girls that um, I was looking for a blush and I told them I wanted something clean beauty. They all said, Alexis, you've got to use this one. This is Merit Beauty, M-E-R-I-T, in the shade Beverly Hills. It is so much fun. Okay, it's not going to focus. It's so much fun to put on, first of all. This is almost gone. It's supposed to be a bump like this. I've just used so much of it. What you do is you put it on your cheek. I usually like to just take my brush and put it on, but I just want to show you how beautiful and magical this is. It's like silk. Look at that. Okay, let me do the other side. It might be better lighting. Look at that. The color I am obsessed with. So I put a few lines like this and <laughs> Funny story, the other day, so the girls who I told you I'm having that sleepover with, they're two of my best friends in the whole world, and the other day we were having a girls' night, and uh, one of my friends, her and her fiancé, just moved into a new house, so she was giving us a house tour. We're in the bathroom, and we're just, I don't know how we got on this subject, but we were talking about, like, skincare and rosacea, and my friend had said, I have really really bad rosacea sometimes but I found this product that helps and I told her I was like girl your skin is so beautiful don't even worry and I said I actually love the rosacea look I wish that I had it they both stopped they're like oh this is what you just say I this is like a, a secret that I've always had I've always wanted the rosacea skin that, and what I mean by that is that beautiful pink glow. I think that it looks so healthy on people who have it. I know a lot of people complain my skin gets red. It's beautiful. It's so youthful to me. There's so much life in that. And I told them, I said, I literally have this blush that I use to give me that look. I just love the heavy blush look. It looks so beautiful and full of life to me. And she was like, you know what? I actually like it for myself, Ben. <laughs> so that was so funny. Okay. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to be taking more of the Ilia powder that I was using, putting a tiny, tiny bit on my brush and setting my under eye. Put a little bit on my forehead. I have such oily skin. It used to be way more oily than it is. And I had gone on Accutane, as you girls know, maybe, oh my gosh, was it four years, maybe three years now? And my skin was never that oily again. It was the craziest thing. So I don't know what happened, but it just sucked the oil out of my skin, but also sucked the acne out, so I'm happy. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna be using now is bronzer. Okay, this is NARS Cosmetics. I'm not sure what shade it is. I've used this like literally to the ground. I have to keep it in a plastic baggie because the top broke off. 
if any of you girls have a good recommendation for a clean beauty brand bronzer, I am really, really excited to hear what you have to say. So I just take a little bit of this and I use it right here. I love this shade too because it's like that sun-kissed look. Okay, just put it all right here. Then I take a little bit more and I'm going to put it on the sides. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to do a little bit right here. So this is the makeup routine. I I wish that I would do this every day, but I honestly don't. I do this on the day that I'm filming a lot of content. I do, I do still love to wear makeup on the other days too, but just not this much. This is more my on-camera look. If I'm going out with my friends though, like tomorrow night, I will wear this. So I just love how it comes together. So now what I'm gonna do, is take a little bit of, actually not a little bit, we're gonna take a normal amount, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have used so many mascaras, high-end, drugstore, luxury, all of them. I always come back to this one, I don't know what it is. My lashes love it and it stays on even when I cry, so I love that so much. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, oh, this is so important too. Do you see how the makeup brush is like this? It's like a curve. The bottom part of the curve is what I use on my lashes. So I'll curl it and go up like this. That's what I think really, really elevates my lashes. I don't, I've never gotten eyelash extensions before. I was thinking about doing it recently just for fun, but then I have a lot of girls that I know that get lash extensions. And whenever they take theirs out and they just give their lashes time to breathe, they're so beautiful to me. It's like their eyes just open up even more. And I always tell them, you look so beautiful. Your natural beauty is just popping out. And so I think maybe I don't want to get lashes because I just love it when I see my friends go back to their natural state. You know what I also love too? <laughs> okay. So you know how I told you that I love the rosacea look of the cheeks. I think it's so beautiful and healthy looking. I, okay, this is on the other side. A lot of my friends get Botox in their forehead, and when they do, their forehead is so shiny, and it looks so beautiful to me. I don't know. <laughs> I know I probably sound so crazy right now, but I was telling this to someone the other day, and they're like, "Yeah, it's it's a shiny Botox effect or shiny forehead Botox effect." They're like, "It's normal," and. I just love it. I will most likely get Botox one day. Probably not right now. But I'm curious to see what it's like. There's something else that I heard too, and this is actually from Ariana Grande. I'm not an Ariana Grande fan, but I had just seen this video. And she was saying, I removed all of my Botox and fillers because I want to be able to look at my smile lines and see how deep they are. I want to know that I spent my life laughing and celebrating and smiling. And there was something about that that really touched my heart. And for so long, I always thought, yeah, maybe I'll get Botox like for the um, for the lines in my forehead when I'm older. But now I'm thinking, is that giving in to that idea of the fear of aging? There's so much fear of aging in our world today. And I think that Botox kind of contributes to that. I do love and respect everyone's opinion who does want to get Botox. I am all for you doing whatever you want to your body. It's yours. But I, for my own, I sometimes think, I don't know. I, I love the idea of aging. It's celebrating the life that you've lived. And I don't want to just cover that up or try to reverse it because aging to me is so beautiful. So we'll see if I even get that. Okay. Do you see this mascara? Ah, oh, I have no lash lift, no extensions, nothing. I just love it. Now I'm going to be putting a little bit of mascara on the bottom and we are almost done. All right, so the makeup application part of this is done, except for lips. We're going to do lips, but there's something I like to do before that. <clears throat> I'm going to set my makeup with this Milani Make It Last spray. I love this because it also gives such a nice glow. Okay. I worry sometimes about putting this on because oh, I feel like it's not good for my skin. It smells amazing. 
and if it smells like a perfume it cannot be good going on to my skin and I also have rose water spray that I sometimes use too I like this one in here but it doesn't set my makeup as well as this one does so if any of you girls have a good suggestion to use I would love that all right now for lips then we are gonna be finished okay for lips I'm using the rare beauty kind words matte lip liner in the shade gifted beautiful brown shade been so into that nude look recently Now, what I'm going to do is take the Ilia Cosmetics. This is their Wild Rose Color Block Lipstick. This beautiful shade right here. I'm going to be putting that on. Oh, this shade is so pretty. This is also Clean Beauty, which mm, I love, love that. Because my lips are a an area that love to break out for me still i had this tiny little pimple right here you can see it anytime i wear heavy lipstick if i'm doing a photo shoot or if i'm doing um just a lot of heavy makeup that week my lips always break out and it's so so frustrating so i'm trying to switch to all clean beauty as i use something that's not but okay this one's so worth it for me this is buxom's lip gloss this is it it's in the shade what shade is this dolly Oh my gosh, whenever I wear this combo, especially on TikTok, girls ask like crazy, what lipsticks are you wearing? Please give us the combo. This is a combo. Okay, watch how amazing this lip gloss is. I love it. I will never get enough of this lip gloss. All right, my girls, this is the finished look. I'm actually going to make a YouTube video now, so I will see you very soon again. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your beautiful suggestions for the videos to make. I love being with you. I loved spending this free time with you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Also, I almost forgot one more important thing. So what I do is I take this shade again, sugar, just take a tiny bit on the tip, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is put it right along my eyebrows. Give it that highlight. Love it. Then I'm going to take a little bit more. Put it on the inner corner of my eyes. Gives you that pop. Okay, now I promise I'm finished. I love you girls. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.